Um, I'm kind of sorry that I do a part two because, I don't know, my phone, I guess, ran out of memory. Um, but anyways, um, I was talking to you guys about the fuel injectors. Basically, what I have done already is um, I put the injectors into the fuel rail. Um, at this point, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take the stock fuel rail off, stock fuel injectors, all the connectors. Um, I got to disconnect this line over here. Um, I kind of started already a little bit. Um, if you notice, these um, clips here, they have like these little wires there. And kind of what I use to get those out is um, at Harbor Freight, they sell this cheap ass um, tool here, you know, Pittsburgh Tools. Um, it's a little pick set. Um, so you got that little pick there. Basically, what I do is I just, um, let me get that camera in there. See if I can get it in there. Right there. Basically, what I do is I just get the pick and I get it right there on the edge, pop it to the side pop to the side and it comes off basically all you do when you go back is you just pop it back on so it's pretty simple to get those off um, I already did all of them so they're all loose just for the purpose of this video so that I wasn't just wasting time bullshitting um, I will show you guys how um, to take the fuel rail off there's three 10 millimeter nuts on the back side there's one here one over here and one on this side and I'm going to be using my electric uh, impact wrench I got a 22 millimeter um, Harbor Freight special to take off that fuel connection um, once I get that off we'll go ahead and check the inlet on the <clears throat> fuel injector ports because I'm kind of worried about um, those seals right there not fitting so we might have to take those off I don't know we'll see once I get it up lined up um, once I get it all installed in there um, we'll go ahead and try and uh, fire it up and uh, see how she runs and then we'll take her for a spin and do a couple pulls I don't have the filter on the throttle body here kind of ghetto intake but you know what honestly the more air that it sucks in can mix with the fuel because right now it's not turboed. Um, I kind of just want to see how it's going to run. Might just run like shit. I don't know. Uh, I'm just kind of excited. So once I get this done, um, obviously the next step is going to be uh, ordering the turbo and uh, getting the turbo mocked up and all that stuff. And then uh, I already have my tuning kit. Um, Honestly, I don't have a laptop and I don't have a GoPro, which I need <laughs> desperately. Um, but I'm, I'm investing in that right now. I'm going to get a laptop. By the time that I have a turbo on this car and it's ready to run, I will have a laptop. I will be able to download my Nep Neptune RTP onto there. And we'll be able to do some street tunes. And I'll kind of show you guys how to do that. I've already been studying it for a while. I've done it a few times before. So I'm, I'm, you know, um, it's not something that I don't know how to do. Um, and then I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So if you guys are on a budget and you guys want to learn how to boost your car over the weekend for about 1500 bucks, um, this is honestly the best way to go. So I'm going to show you guys how to get there and let's go ahead and do it. And let's make 350 horsepower. <laughs> Thank you. 